Have you ever wondered what it'd feel like to fly across water? Feel the rush of speed and the roar of the engine? It's time for Sprint Boat Racing. It's me, Recky Rick, and today we're at Extreme Sports Park here in Fort Angeles, Washington. We're gonna learn about sprint boat racing. Come on, let's go. Check out this race course. This water is only three feet deep and all of these routes, they're called water channels. Every one of these water channels has their own specific number and the drivers have to memorize that specific number order. Should we try it? I have right here with me the course map with the exact order of the number synchronization. 1, 12, 8, 7, 1, 2, 11, 10, 4, 5, 13, 9. Oh, that was harder than I thought. And I'm sure a lot of accidents happen out here, but if they do, there are course crew members to help out the drivers and the navigators. Hey, I see one over there. Let's go say hi. Hi guys! Hi, how are you? So you are like the course crew, right? What do you call yourself? Uh, we call ourselves Island Hoppers. Ooh, the Island Hoppers. That makes sense. You see all those islands out there? Well, they're jumping in the water and getting over and saving the boats. But do you have fun? Well, it's too yeah. much fun. Oh man, that's so cool. Thanks for all you do, guys. We'll see you later. Now that we've had a closer look at the course, let's go check out the start and finish line. Here's a closer look at the start line and the finish but come over here and check this out there's a sensor and the minute that the boats cross that line it's time to go fast and this is where all the teams and crews come to get their boats ready. They're just hanging out next to their boats. Wow, check out this setup. We've got a big green boat and an orange one. Check out this green one. That's one of my favorite colors. Some of these teams come from all over the country and even Canada. Check out all these trucks and trailers. These trailers are so big, some of them can hold their boat and their crew. Take a look inside of this big trailer. They've got tools everywhere so you can fix the engine if you need to and I'm sure that happens all the time. Oh boy, and they've got a refrigerator for snacks. Oh, this is so amazing. And there's air conditioning in here so it's nice and cool. All the storage compartments, they can store all their gear. Check it out, all this fireproof gear. This is amazing. And upstairs is the boats. And here's the exit, come on out. Hey, wow, this is so cool. And this big trailer is being hauled by a semi truck. I love semi trucks. <laughs> what a treat. That's one way to do racing. Racing, and this is their race boat. This frame is called the hull. It's 12 feet long and five feet wide. Check out the size of this engine. That engine right there is a 355 Chevy. It's about 600 horsepower. That's a powerful engine. Do you want to take a look at the cockpit? Come check it out. There's a driver to steer this boat and the navigator tells them where to turn and when to turn. And this right here, this is the fuel tank. 
you can open that up and they put 100 octane in there. That's the fuel that they use for this boat. This right here is a roll bar. This keeps the team safe in case they roll, which is a possibility. Sounds kind of scary, doesn't it? Check out these heavy duty seat belts. Those straps are so thick. Check these out. These look like a squid. Isn't that kind of funny? Well, these right here are the exhaust headers. This lets out all the exhaust. And these balls right here, when you're traveling, you wanna make sure that nothing gets inside of your exhaust while you're traveling. So you put something to block it off. Check out this giant engine right here. Well, this thing turns the rotors super duper fast, which pumps water through the pump into the blades and out the back of the boat. You'll notice that this boat doesn't have a rotor like most boats. It has this big jet because this is a jet boat and it can go in shallow water. This is a super powerful machine that can press water out the back so you can go super duper fast. Since this is a jet boat and it doesn't have a rudder, I'm gonna show you how it turns. You see that? Isn't that cool? That's how you steer this boat. Margaret with Purcell Racing. It is such an honor to meet you, Margaret. Thank you. I have so many questions. Like, how do you prepare to race this boat? Well, there's a lot of work that goes on to race the boat. We spend time working on it mechanically before the race, and then during the race day, we check all the fittings and we make sure that it's running correctly, and then we make sure that it's safe. Too. Oh wow, so do they have officials that come and check that out? They do. Before every single race, there's a technical review that looks at, oh I don't know, maybe about 40 different things to make sure that the boat is safe. Wow, so they have a checklist that they're running through. Do you have to wear a special suit? We do. We have to wear a fireproof suit that Ooh. has specifics that says it's ready for us to wear. Ooh, can I see one? Yes. Come Let's on. go look. Check it out, here's her suit. Whoa, there's a lot of parts and components to this. There are. One of the most important parts is the helmet. Wow. This has very specifics on it, on what it has to have. And we also have a microphone so that we can talk to each other while we're racing. Wow, well I can tell this is all about safety and support. Speaking of support, what's this right here? This is called a Hans device. So this is a device that we wear around our necks oh. to protect our necks in the case of an accident. So the helmet goes on top of that to yes. keep your neck straight because yes. that's a pretty heavy helmet. And if you get tossed in an accident, you don't want your neck to bend a lot. That's right. These are our gloves. Ooh. And our gloves are also fireproof. Fireproof gloves, that's pretty cool. This is a device that goes around your wrist and attaches to your harness in the boat so that your arm stays in the boat. This is our fire suit. Wow, check it out. This is a real race suit. What's the back look like? So oh, the back has our name on it. Purcell Racing 154. That's awesome. And matching pants to go with it. Wow, that's so amazing. Do you mind if I try a suit on? No, I think that would be fun. Awesome. Let's do it. I feel like a real racer. This looks like a lot of fun. Would you like to sit in the boat? I would love to. Whoa, oh my goodness. There's a foot brace right here and a handle. Is this where you strap your hand to? That's right. Remember that strap that she showed us earlier? So what's your role here in this boat? So I'm a navigator. So every boat has a driver on the left side and a navigator on the right side. 
I'm the person who tells the driver where to go, how to manage on the race course. I can't imagine being a real race boat driver. Oh boy, with this heavy duty jet engine on the back of this boat, I'm sure it flies. I get to actually go for a ride, but first I gotta get my headgear on. Come on. I'm excited, but kind of nervous. All right, well, I'm all geared up and ready to go. Time to get in the boat. Well, I'm all strapped up. I can't even move. I'm excited. This is James. He's going to be my driver. never gone that fast in my entire life. It felt so incredible. Oh boy, thank you so much Purcell Racing and the whole crew. You guys were amazing. And Gary with American Sprint Boat Racing Association. This was such an honor to be here. Thanks a lot and I'm excited to try next year. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Hey, it's me, Brecky Breck. And check this out. This right here is a big semi truck. Where we straight up racing today, and guess what? We are gonna watch a monster truck show. Have you ever been to a monster truck show before or learned about monster trucks? Well, today is our lucky day. Oh man, I cannot wait to explore. Come on. semi-trucks? Well, they are full of monster trucks. Did you hear that? Whoa! He's gonna pull this truck out! Look, 
you can even see the tires through this door right here. These monster trucks weigh about 16,000 pounds, and these semi trucks are hauling all of the monster trucks and their parts. These semi trucks really are the real heroes of this whole thing. a fun day because we're gonna get the tires on these big monster trucks and then we're gonna parade all the way over to the arena and then there's a pit party and then a monster truck show there's even gonna be a judge because these guys are competing against each other for the coolest tricks whoa you see the size of that tire that's huge well guess what that right there is the monster truck tire and when they're traveling, they have smaller tires on, so it's easier to navigate the truck itself. But once the truck is out, then they're gonna put the big tires on. These tires weigh a thousand pounds each. That is a lot of weight. Oh man, these guys must be real strong to be able to maneuver these big tires. Whoa, check out the inside of this semi-truck trailer. Oh man, this is so awesome. These big old ramps right here, this folds down and the trucks just roll right up onto here, right here and right here. Oh boy, that means you can crawl under it and work on it if you needed to. Wow, this is awesome. Wow, all these trucks have their own characteristics and name. This one right here, it's identity theft. Oh boy, well, good luck today, identity theft. <laughs> And check this orange one out. This one's called a crash test dummy. <laughs> That's pretty silly. This one's name is Spitfire. <laughs> These are super creative names. Oh man, you see this big truck? Its name is the Weekend Warrior. <laughs> I like that. Wow, we're here with Crash Test Dummy and I wanna look at some of the parts up close before they put these giant tires on. So look at these shocks right here. These are the shocks and this goes up and down so he can do big jumps. Woohoo! This right here is the engine. Isn't this crazy? Whoa, that's a big engine because this truck has a lot of power. It's got to propel these thousand pound tires over big jumps. That must take a lot of energy. This right here is the exhaust. Oh man, whoa, that's got to look cool. Check out this fuel tank right here. That's pretty big. And this right here is a hydraulic jack and it will lift up this truck so that we can put the tires on it easier. Oh man, did you see that? That's the hydraulic jack in action. This is my friend Dallas right here and he's taking off all the lug nuts of the tires so we can take this one off and put the big ones on. Isn't that cool? monster truck driver for a day? Well, I can't actually drive this monster truck at the uh, show tonight, but I can pretend. You want to see me get all dressed up and jump into the cab? Oh boy! Oh man, check it out! I get to reel the real crash test dummy too. And it's even a little fire resistant too. Wow! Check out this helmet. Look at this, you see this? This is a neck and back brace. And when you put this helmet on, you can strap this up around your waist so it helps hold your back straight because when these things are flipping around, you do not want to break your neck or your back. That is really dangerous. So that's extra safety precautions. Pretty cool, huh? Let's put it on. All right, check it out. Hey, it's me. You see that? For stabilization, pretty cool. 
All right, well, now we're going to climb into the cab of this big truck. Oh, man! Oh, check it out! I'm inside the cab of this monster truck. There's a special seatbelt that you can put on right here, and it keeps you locked in. And then over here, see down here? There's a ratchet, and you ratchet yourself tight into this one spot, and it holds you really steady. And look at this. This is the steering wheel, and you can pop it on like this. You see this lever right here? This lever controls the back tires. It makes the back tires move. Isn't that so cool? And of course, we have the gas pedal right here and the brake. Look at this. We've got an oil gauge and the water temperature. This is so cool. You see this thing right here? In case there's a fire, you'd pull out the pin and pull this, and then fire retardant would come out of these spots right here. You see up there? That's an awesome safety measure, huh? Well, I feel like a real monster truck driver. Oh yeah, look at me, I'm a real monster truck driver! Woo! Yeah! Monster trucks are awesome! the cab of Rockstar. It's got two seats in it. That's pretty awesome. This is my friend Dallas. Hey, how's it going? Glad what? you guys could make it out. Oh, thank you so much. And guess what? He is the creator of Crash Test Dummy. So, Dallas, how long did it take you to build this big truck? It took me about six years just to build what you see here. Oh, wow. That is a lot of hard work put into this. So, are you going to be driving this today? Actually, usually I drive this truck, but this weekend, I'm not going to be driving it. I'm going to hand the keys over to my friend John. Oh, cool. So he's actually going to be the announcer today. So we're going to get to hang out with Dallas later. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. All right, Dallas. Well, I'll let you get back to getting everything ready for tonight's show. We'll see you later. Sounds good. This is so much fun learning about monster trucks. What a great day. are going to have their show in this arena and they're going to drive over these big crash cars. So he's picking them up, painting them blue and yellow and it's going to be so awesome. <laughs> Whoa, you see that big forklift right there? Well, he's grabbing another car to bring over there to paint. Let's go watch him paint. That's the color blue. It's super pretty too. Right on! The trucks are all cleaned up. We've checked them. They're ready to drive. And now we're getting ready to start the parade. This is going to be a parade of trucks going all the way over to the arena through the fairgrounds. Oh man, I cannot wait!
take it out? They're putting caution tape around all the tires because we're about to have a pit party and people can come in and get autographs signed. So we gotta make sure that kids and adults stay away from the trucks. Check it out! I'm with Identity Theft right now and guess what? You get to meet his driver. This is my friend Dwight. Hello. <laughs> Wow, so he's gonna show us some parts because I don't really know a lot about monster trucks. So, Dwight, what are we looking at here? So you have our shocks. That's what oh. absorb the the jumps when we jump big. Oh, that and sounds like fun. You have brakes, which typically go on your wheels for a car, but we have it there on a oh. monster truck just because they're so big. Wow. Drive lines. That's what make it go forward and backwards. Of course, tires. So we have our steering rams, that's what make it turn. Wait, so do the back tires turn too? Yes, so front and rear tires turn. That's pretty awesome. Right here, as you can see, we have an engine. That's what makes our all of our power to turn these massive 66 inch tires. That's a 1500 horsepower engine. That is a big engine. So we also have all of the green bars, the tubes that you see, that is our chassis. That's the structure <laughs> of a monster truck. Wow, so where do you find a monster truck like this? Actually, we built pretty much all of this. They built this entire truck. Isn't that so awesome? And you can see Straight Up Racing's emblem all throughout the truck. Check it out. Wow, that's a lot of different parts of this big truck, huh? Well, thanks a lot, Dwight. I can't wait to watch you drive this monster. <laughs> of course, hopefully it's a good show tonight. <laughs>just went through and inspected all of the trucks and looked for all of the safety shutoff valves and lines so that way they know if there starts a fire they know how to shut off the fuel pump and now they're gonna go have a safety meeting to talk with all the drivers safety first there they are they're having their safety meeting Wow because of this crew and them taking safety seriously they can travel with this show all over the country and even the world isn't that so fun get to come and meet the drivers and have them sign their autograph on some special merch. Isn't that awesome? Well, check this out. This is my friend Lorna. And guess what? Her and her husband Bill are the owners of Straight Up Racing and she's actually a driver of this monster truck. Rockstar, isn't that awesome? Wow, Lauren, are you excited? I am so excited for today. Today is going to be a great day, beautiful day, and we go get to crush some cars. Woohoo! And look at this cool helmet she gets to wear. Wow, I love the pink <laughs> hair. That's really fun. All right, well, good luck out there today, Lauren. Thank you. All right, well, we just wrapped up the pit party. Are you excited? Oh boy, well let's go grab our seat up from the stands, come on! Wow, look at this! We're in the stands now, but guess what? Today, we're going to sit with Dallas up in the sound booth. Come on, I'll show you! Wow, check this out! This right here is the sound booth. We'll get to sit up here and look at that view! Welcome from Phoenix as we get ready for all kinds of fun here on Friday night. Don't forget, you can be the winner of a special prize with a social media giveaway. So from tour on Facebook.com. Wow, Dallas is a really good announcer, isn't he? Oh, man, good job, Dallas. Wow, check it out. Here comes the drivers. The show's about to start. Oh, boy. Talking to the drivers down there, we have a sound guy right here, and he's turning on awesome music for all the drivers and now. All right, well the stands are just about full, so the show's about to start.
you see those competitions and those big trucks? They sure are talented. That was amazing. Good job, guys. Woo! Wow, Dallas, good job. That was awesome. Well, now that the show's over, all the fans are leaving. So guess what that means? That means the drivers and the crew, they got to clean up that big mess. This was the best day ever. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Now it's time to listen to the Monster Truck song. on a books and bike tour all over the United States. We're going to have story times at local libraries where I'll read a couple of my favorite books, we'll make a fun craft, and even have time for a little dance party. We're also hosting bike events you can attend at local BMX tracks. You can show up with or without a bike. I'll bring some extra bikes and helmets for those that don't have one. 
and we'll get to explore and ride around the track together. And while I'm in your city, I'm going to film something amazing. Whether it's a cool museum, park, restaurant, or an awesome machine with wheels, I want to learn about it and all the things that make your city unique. And thanks to all of our amazing sponsors, these events are all absolutely free! Isn't that so cool? Oh boy, I hope to meet you on the road! <laughs>